convolution in the Laplace transform explained in three minutes. The Laplace transform of a product is not equal to the product of individual transforms, but there is a special type of product for which this actually becomes true. This is called convolution. The convolution between two functions of time, f and g, is defined as the integral from 0 to t, f of tau, g of t minus tau, d tau, where tau is just a dummy variable for integration. It should be noted that the functions f and g we're considering here are only of interest in the interval 0 to infinity, which is pretty much always the case when t actually means time. Also, it can easily be proven that g and f are interchangeable in this integral. In other words, the convolution operation is commutative. Now then, let's take a look at a worked example. Say we wanted to evaluate the inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s times s plus 2. Typically, you would decompose this using partial fractions and easily find the inverse Laplace. But for demonstration, let's use convolution here. We'll rewrite the inside as 1 over s times 1 over s plus 2, and then both of these transforms are known from a standard table. The inside becomes the Laplace transform of 1 times the Laplace transform of e to the negative 2t. We have a product of transforms, so this is the transform of the special product between the two functions, the convolution. The Laplace and inverse Laplace operators cancel out, leaving us with the convolution between 1 and e to the negative 2t. So, we'll have to solve this using the integral definition we saw earlier. I'm going to choose the exponential as g and 1 as f. Of course, you can do it the other way around. It's just that this one is a bit simpler. The integral gives us negative 1 half e to the negative 2 tau. We'll plug in the bounds, and with that, we're done. Perhaps the only thing we can do is distribute, but that's it. This is the inverse Laplace of 1 over s times s plus 2. And as an exercise, try solving it using the typical partial fractions method and verify that you'll get the same result. If you'd like to see more videos on the Laplace transform, let me know in the comments down below.